If you think of the macro uh, dynamics, um, the high street is massively changed. Footfall uh, five years ago was almost three or four times higher per store than it is today. The consumer mindset is, is changing. Uh, and, it, and I'd say it's changed rapidly, especially over the last couple of years. People today don't want to just come in and functionally buy something. They, they want to have an experience. Product has changed, uh, experience hasn't changed. If we can unlock that, um, that product with that experience, which is where Kite sits, is, is the intersection of both. You know, we, we're in the eye bar here, which is all about hospitality and um, bringing that together with, with product, which is totally different. It's a really exciting space. The optical sector, I guess, is uh, less sensitive to these kind of uh, changes from, a, from an economic perspective because it's a necessity. People need to get their glasses. I think that the people's, mi people's mindset is changing. I, I still think, obviously, people see optics as a kind of like sector where I'll work and I get my 250, 300 pounds a day, and then on the weekends I'll do X, Y, and Z. But I think people are now seeing there's a real opportunity in optics in the UK. I think there's a new age of um, entrepreneurs and business people coming through, and I think there's a real wave of innovation coming in this sector. So I think in, in five years' time, um, I think that there's, there's two, two areas that I think are going to see immediate change. Um, so there's the eyewear element and then there's the retail uh, element of, of optics. So I think firstly in, in eyewear, um, I think there's going to be a lot more choice in the market. Um, you know, there's already a lot of brands coming into the space um, and you know, the customer has a lot more choices than they had, um, you know, 10 years ago. The customer is going to be all about uh, customization. Um, and, and wanting stuff tailored to them. Um, so the one size fit approach is gone. Optics is playing catch up and anyone that kind of breaks and gets into that and really nails that is going to own this market. And I think that is not just in the eyewear, I think it's in lens technology as well. So precision optics is, I feel, an untold story. I think the high street is going to change massively and massive retailers, which, you know, whether it's Pound World, New Look issued a profits warning, Carphone Warehouse, these are not stupid retailers and they are struggling. Any optical retailer needs to be looking at their business. Um, and, and seeing how do we, how do we change. Um, and I think you know, they, they've got to look at not only how they're serving customers, but I think also the operating model, the commercial model has got to change. Consumer businesses are moving towards the consumer model. Yeah, you have to do everything around the consumer. Um, and I think that's going to be the biggest shift in the space. Um, and um, whoever embraces that, whoever nails that, is, is going to do really well. Whoever doesn't is going to really struggle. If we think of like trends, um, myopia by then is going to people will be stopped talking about it as an epidemic. It will be like everyone will have myopia. I think price needs to come down over time. Uh, I think as this as all the technology uh, improves, 3D printing and lens tech, I think um, democratization almost of pricing of glasses in 15 years. What would glasses cost? Would you even be buying glasses? I think, you know, would you be hiring them? You know, I think there's so many different models. And I think, you know, technology within eyewear, um, I think it has a play as well. So I think, you know, it's obviously a prime real estate, this, this part of your head. What can you put on that eyewear? I think Google Glass failed for a reason. Um, but I think, you know, whether it's like speakers or sensors, I think stuff like that will have, it'll be interesting. Who, you know, there's, again, it's a bubbling sector. People are doing things. There's been some adoption, some criticism. The technology is not kind of caught up. I think in 15 years, you know, hopefully it, it will have. I think there's, there's a few things that will happen. Um, and I think the biggest, the biggest challenge for the industry is maintaining its relevance in 15 years. But I think it's a fascinating thing to talk about because I do think we do need to be thinking ahead as a sector um, because you know, otherwise you will get left behind. The consumer is moving faster than anyone else has ever predicted before.